The vinyl loop process has proved to be one of the most efficient recycling methods available for regenerating composite structures. Up until now, traditional recycling methods have been unable to achieve such a high level of purity in recycled PVC compound. This process allows the PVC to be separated from the other materials such as polyester fibers, natural textiles, metals, rubber, polyolefins and many others. The vinyl loop technology is based on the principle of selectively dissolving the PVC using a solvent that runs in a closed loop. Raw materials loading. The vinyl loop process is applied to composite waste materials based on end-of-life PVC products, for example, ground cable jackets, flakes from coated tarpaulins, etc., which are stored in appropriate cells before being sent to the processing plant. Raw materials pre-treatment. Before being fed to the vinyl loop unit, ground PVC cable jackets undergo a pre-treatment step consisting in the mechanical separation of excess copper. Solvent storage tank D1. The vinyl loop process is based on the principle of selective dissolution of PVC by means of a patented solvent that runs in a closed loop and is stored in this tank. Vinyl loop D2 and Texi loop D3 dissolve. The dissolution of the PVC contained in the scraps which are processed is carried out by means of a special solvent in two different dissolvers. The dissolution of the PVC contained in waste composite materials which are free from fibers is carried out in the vinyl loop D2 dissolver. The dissolution of the PVC contained in waste with a high fiber content is carried out in the Texi loop D3 dissolver. Fibers discharging D4. During the dissolution process carried out in the Texi loop D3 dissolver, fibers are separated from PVC. After a cleaning and stripping process, they are discharged to big bags and subsequently marketed for appropriate industrial uses. Primary filter F1. Primary filtration consists in a mechanical separation of the solution, solvent plus RPVC, from the material which has not dissolved in the solvent, primary insoluble. Primary insoluble F2. The primary insoluble remaining after primary filtration is made inert before being collected in dedicated containers and sent to an external incineration system. Control room. The vinyl loop plant, which according to the Cervezo 2 directive is classified as a plant presenting a major accident hazard, is monitored throughout the process by means of a centralized control system located in the control room. Decanter centrifuge F3. The latest innovation in our research is the deployment of a brand new filtration system called decanter centrifuge that improves the quality of the RPVC. This system uses the centrifugal force generated by the rotation of the inner bowl to separate the solid contaminants which are left over in the PVC solution after the previous filtration steps. This unique innovative filtration system achieves a high level of purity of the RPVC, ensuring that it is free from contaminants. Secondary insoluble F4. The solid Solid contaminants, secondary insoluble, separated by the decanter centrifuge, are made inert and discharged to appropriate containers. Then they are sent to suitable incineration plants. Precipitators P1. The solvent present in the PVC solution coming out of the decanter centrifuge is evaporated by means of steam and condensed in the solvent storage tank. Then it is fed to the vinyl loop, taxi loop, closed loop process. At the end of the evaporation, a slurry, processed water plus RPVC, is recovered. Drying and sieving, E1. The slurry resulting from the precipitation step is treated to separate RPVC from process water. The process water is sent to a containment pit. The RPVC is dried and sieved. containment pits, E2. The process water recovered during the drying and sieving step is collected in containment pits. Then it undergoes a physical chemical treatment. Packaging, E3. After drying and sieving, the RPVC is packaged in big bags and stored in a warehouse. High quality recycled PVC compounds. A 
consistent high quality of the RPBC is a unique asset of the vinyl loop process and it is this that makes it stand out amongst most of the mechanical recycling processes. The RPBC compound, obtained from a variety of different scraps, can then be considered as virgin material in terms of quality and property consistency. Vinyl loop is based on the concept of extending the life cycle of a product. It gives a new life to unused and valuable resources and avoids the disposal of valuable plastics in landfills or by incineration.